Hello friends, God bless you and uh, today I am uh, going to share something that I am struggling um, and I don't have a clear answer. And when I was praying, Holy Spirit tried to help me to understand and I just wanted to share with you. And I believe that by my own journey, uh, God will bless you. You see, I have seen a miraculous things as a result of prayer. I have seen people's blind eyes open. I've seen the crooked hands completely heal instantly. I've seen the people uh, come out alive and start walking when their legs were uh, crooked. I've seen amazing things. I've seen people co uh, completely heal from stage four cancer. But at the same time, I have prayed for my friends for years and there is no healing. I have people come to me for prayer all the time and sometimes they ask question based on their story. Where is God in this? How come God is not answering? Is God real? And I don't have answers. And when I was reading this Hebrew chapter 11, Verse 35 says that faith-filled women saw their dead children raised in resurrection power. Bible says that the faith-filled women has received their dead back. This is not about Lazarus. This is more dead people has been raised. This is in book of Hebrew. But in the same chapter, following verse says that Yet it was faith that enabled others to endure great atrocity. They were stretched out on the wheels and tortured and didn't deny their faith in order to be freed because they longed for a more honorable and glorious resurrection. Well, the women received dead, but at the same time, other people endured extreme hardship and torture. And why? Why this is happening? And when I was trying to prayerfully sitting with Holy Spirit and trying to understand, Lord, help me to understand. And I realized that my puny mind will never understand what God is doing. Bible talks about three archangels, Gabriel, Michael, and, and Lucifer. And even Lucifer, when Jesus died, thought that I won, but he didn't know that the Jesus death has opened up a way for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people to be saved. And he will rise, he rose again. He didn't know that. Even angels don't understand. And that's why scripture says, the Bible says that uh, my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Jesus himself said that if I tell you the things of this earth, you don't understand how can you understand if I tell you the things above? We don't have this capacity to understand God's plan. It is not that God wants to hide. It is not that God doesn't want to answer our whys. But I think that we don't have that capacity to understand him. If you look into the Old Testament, when God sent Moses to deliver the people from the bondage from Egypt. Really what Moses needed, he needed a strategy. He needed weapon. He needed army. He needed a strength to defeat Pharaoh and free the people. But instead of God promised, God should have promised that I will give you strength. I will give you army. I will give you weapons. But God says, that, no, I, my presence will go with you. What God is saying that you will see my hand in every situation. I don't know what is your situation today. You might be sick. You might be in a hospital. You might have so many issues and problems in your family. And you are looking for answers. And God would say that my presence will go with you.
God never told Jacob that I have re- when God said they go back to your father's house God never said that Jacob don't afraid of Laban because I have given him warning in the dream God never said Jacob that don't worry your brother don't worry of brother because he has forgiven you But as Jacob realized that this is God's hand Moses think about Moses when Moses led the people out of Egypt he did not had a map he did not had a direction he did not know how to feed these people but when he come to the very first place there was water but it was it was bitter water and God had shown some tree and told Moses to cut and put the into water and water will be will be um, enough for them to drink that in the desert how come there is a tree this god has planted a seed long time ago that blossom in a tree even in the desert even there is no rain there was a tree and Moses realized this is God's hand he may not have all the answer but he can start seeing God's hands and that is why at the end he says that lord if you are not going with me if your presence does not go with me in promised land it is better for me to live in this wilderness and that is why i would say that me you and me will never have all the answers of our why's but i believe that if we ask god would you show me where you are in my problem whether it's a sickness or family issues whatever it is where is your hand and god will show it to you and me just think today every second our heart beats if it st- it misses the beats we could not be alive for seconds we are dead in seconds we did not ask god that keep my heart beating today we did not ask god that let me see colors today we did not ask god let me test the food today but we we got it it proves that god's hand is there god's presence is with you and me all the time scripture says that what can separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus nothing absolutely nothing so i would encourage you that if you ask and god may give you the answer i'm not saying god will not for your wise but i can guarantee you if you ask god can you show me where your hand is in my situation and god would definitely show it to you I believe that God has blessed you today. Thank you.